Marla Ellerman. I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing and Technology Online. We're here today at the Mobile Payment Conference, and I'm with Joe Lang, who's with IBM in the Blockchain Division. Thank you for joining us. Tell us what you do at IBM and what your title is. Thank you for having me. Uh, I am part of the IBM Blockchain Financial Solutions Portfolio, where I am an offering leader. So in the beginning, that was designing their initial platform as well as building the business case to get funding to deliver um, in 2017. And now I focus on uh, competitive intelligence and go-to-market strategy, including where we want to focus and what clients we focus on. That's great. So I did a blockchain training here about three years ago with Nateen, who is the lead on blockchain. Where has it gone in the last couple of years? Where do you see everything's blockchain now? Everyone's doing blockchain. Do you have 100 customers up on the blockchain? Are you billing? Are people billing through there? Where is IBM at through the cycle? I think um, it depends who you ask. I think that there's a ton of activity. Um, we have a lot of... Uh, work that has been in the works for a number of years that is coming to fruition. Our work with Walmart on IBM Food Trust as well as Trade Lens, which was our work with Maersk. Um, that has a number of partners. Our uh, platform, we're look moving towards a general release for this year, uh, availability for this year with um, actually looking at smaller clients who will be onboarded first starting in the Asia Pacific region and uh, primarily and then expanding, this is actually, one of the beauties of what we're building is it's actually forcing a new types of billing, transaction-based billing, paying for what you use versus you know, the traditional licensing model. Got and it. so that will also enable us to introduce that into new offerings uh, beyond just payments. Do you see a lot of application? I think what's really going to drive this is the applications. Like, I think motor vehicle department is a great one. I think titles for homes are a great one. Are you seeing any movement in those types of verticals? Yes. I mean, you can see uh, the establishment of MOBI, M-O-B-I, initiative for the automotives, and I believe IBM is a member and part of that. Um, I think with land, it's a bit harder. Um, I've... I think that there's interest, there isn't necessarily the same pressure and urgency, um, as well as depending on the market, is are the records actually there? Right, um, right. And so I think that given that we're in this this interesting period where every, no one's doubting the hype and the potential, there's some disillusionment. We need to focus on where we can show wins okay, and got it. drive value, and then we will have the not only credibility but also the infrastructure to go after the more interesting and potentially harder use cases. Right, so I know that you guys were doing a lot of stuff internationally in international countries. Are you, do you see it picking up in North America? Yeah, I think um, North America, you need, also need to split it up between Canada, the US, and Mexico. Okay. These, are, these are very different markets. Um, I think that the one that is the hardest to crack will be the US. Mm -hmm. Um, Canada does benefit, I'm Canadian too, okay. <laughs> um, does benefit from the close proximity of the banks, the relative few numbers, and the, the spirit of collaboration that does exist there. Um, they were the first, I was part of that, um, to explore the use of digital distributed ledgers on, uh, for um, real-time gross settlement. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think there's more there that could potentially move faster. Okay. I think the U.S., um, we do a very good job of confusing um, everyone as to what's allowed, what's okay. We have different regulations across. I do think the sandbox is a step in the right direction, mm -hmm. but it does make it harder because you don't know what framework you are either deviating from or not, okay. which is one area where I see Europe has done a great job of that, of providing um, frameworks, whether it's the e-money directive, the sandboxes, PSD2, of providing certain baseline requirements and standards for to ensure interoperability and competition. That's great. Well, thank you so much.